to the ultimate lockdown from the vault. Since the start of the lockdown, me and the band have been getting on really well together. And that's probably because we haven't seen each other very much. This is actually a bit boring. I noticed that me and Willie were at our most entertaining when we didn't like each other very much at all. So I thought I would inject a little bit of discord and antagonism into the band so that when we do eventually get together again, we won't be pleased to see each other because this will have been given a bit of time to fester. Okay, now I'm going to use this axiom that the band's always followed, and that is, you can't give the drummer enough stick. When we recorded this next song in Montserrat, the musicians went to the pool with a beer to celebrate. But Adam, the drummer, didn't he stayed behind? Now, I think he stayed behind to supervise the video. Now, why do I think that? There's a huge piece of evidence. Just watch this and see what happens when the guitar solo comes up. The band are here. And today is our first day in the studio. The band have warmed up. All they're waiting for now is the star. Deadly the roadie. I hope they haven't started it out. Okay. There's Chris Burkett, the producer. Yeah. Good evening. Great, are you all ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Adam. young boy, a mama used to say, you ain't hurt too bad, now go back out and play. But I was only little, I didn't realise, when she'd laugh it off and when she'd sympathise. So I remember asking her, how is it you know, when it's really serious and when you let it go? She said, John, it's obvious, when a young boy cries, if it's very, very bad, there are real tears from both eyes. 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 A few years later, when I was a teenager, and one emotional drama would be followed by another. Sometimes I'd be moody, and sometimes I'd be sad. But I would write romantic songs when it got really bad And because I was poetic, folk would empathise They knew what it was like to have real tears from both eyes 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 I became a singer and fame happened very fast After an appearance on the old Braverful Test It was my first time as a guest on national television And I was gonna do my best to make a big impression And for the millions watching, it wasn't hard to tell Not only was it stupid, it must have also hurt like hell But while Willie Balance said, no way could you disguise The fact that that was agony, there were Real tears from both eyes. 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 So I'm doing this new album and I need another song. I'll tell the band I've got this thing if they'll just play along. Now I don't expect excitement. I don't expect surprise. Just a look of resignation when I say 
It's called Real Tears from Both Eyes. 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 Real tears from both eyes Real tears from both eyes I'll tell you what bugs me. A few years ago when we had the Christmas single, my sister Margaret said that she preferred the Murray Torkildson rocking with the reindeer to my OK Father Christmas. She said that I put the wrong song on the A-side. That really bothers me. I mean, Murray said, oh, just drop it. But no, no, years later, it still rankles. And to make matters worse, a little while later, when we had the band Christmas card, the Murray Elf upstaged the Otway Santa. So, as it's six months before Christmas, in order to keep the argument going and a reason to dislike Murray more, we're going to have a vote. Which is the best Christmas single? Okay, I'm going to toss a coin. Murray's chose heads. So I'll toss it a few more times till it comes up tails. And I'll choose which comes first. This is Rocking with the Reindeer. Circus. There's no room in the shops, 
Is it really worth it? I hear slavers in my head They're calling out for me Santa Claus is waiting At the North Pole saying Don't you wanna be? Wouldn't you rather be? Now, not only is my song better than Murray's, my video's better too. My video's got really nice things in it, like husky dogs, and Murray's has got musicians in his. Another thing, I did a survey and I went round asking people, would you like to see the Northern Lights? Or would you not like to see the Northern Lights? And 90% of people said they would, and only 10% of the people said no. We wouldn't like to see the Northern Lights. Dasha, dasha, dancer, 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 fix it, fix it, pop it, pop it, cupid, cupid, donna, donna, listen, listen. Santa, Santa, Vento, Vento, eBay, eBay, Butter, Butter, Winning, Winning, Bid on, Bid on, Old, 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 Work it, Work it. Say, classify. Carol, Carol, sing, 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 So there you go, make your mind up. And if it helps you to decide which song to vote for, just remember this, Murray Torkelson, his surname begins with T, the same as Donald Trump, 
And John Otway, his surname begins with O, the same as Barack Obama. Just a thought. Now, the ultimate lockdown from the vault show coincides with a huge anniversary. It is actually 50 years since my first gig at the Grain School in Aylesbury. And I realised at the time it was important. So I did a recording of it. And seeing as next year I'm going to be celebrating my 5,000th gig, what I've done for the last song of this show is I've put a montage together of Cheryl's going home over the years. And seeing as the recording of Gig One was just an audio recording, because I think I can remember how I did it 50 years ago, so I lip sync the first verse of the song and then enjoy what way over the years. <laughs>
flesh is cold against my bones And darling, Cheryl's going home Hey, I go! 50 years and it hasn't got any better at all. Okay, voting is now open on the Facebook site. If you go there, you can vote for OK Father Christmas and please don't vote for the other one. I mean, Murray's already been making noises that if it wins, maybe it could be the Christmas single this year. And imagine, imagine, imagine that coming out and then being a hit. I'd have to do it every night, <laughs> no, so please don't. So that's it. Big lockdown show, last one. And they've been great, 15 of them. And now I'm going to put this one to bed and head down the pub to plan for gig 5,000 at the Shepherd's Bush Empire next year. And I thought I'd leave the last words for one of my biggest fans. So here's the big ending. And the last word can be left to Orlando.